Hi everyone, I don't exactly know how to do this video. Um, real quick, I will give, I'll, I'll give as much context and answer as many questions as I can that you might be wondering here, but real very fast, Pierce and I are no longer working together in, in providing NASCAR DFS sheets, projections, things like that. And in fact, it seems to me that he is stepping away from providing sheets, from providing projections and everything like that. If you were in the Discord already, you were kind of caught up with the whole um, situation that, you know, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we all kind of lost access to the drive, the sheets, myself included, you guys, everybody who had access to them, you, you didn't have access to them anymore. Um, we were informed, you know, right around like 3.45 that, look, Pierce, is, he's, just, he's just done with it. Um, you know, he's spending too much time in the sheets the the patreon sales were too low uh and he just he he can't keep trying to make this work and he's going to spend time with his family um no ill wishes no ill words i learned a lot from from pierce i wouldn't be anywhere near as good of a content provider or a dfs player without his his guidance and mentorship and stuff uh, but getting down to brass tacks in terms of the situation with the patreon brand cruise dfs patreon um, I'm going to keep providing my personal projections on the PDF that you guys see each and every week. Uh, I'm going to keep playing NASCAR DFS. I'm going to keep doing research. I'm going to keep doing videos. I'm going to keep on pulling the practice data, pulling the race data. I probably won't make those sheets public just due to the fact that they uh, won't be presented in the fashion that just how nice they were in the sheets that you guys were in already. Um, and I will just use that for my own personal stuff. Um, for those of you on the $60 Patreon tier, I'm going to try and get to each and every one of you guys by the end of today before you get charged on the first and uh, get with you and, and talk to you individually as if if you want to you know, cancel completely and transfer and go to another site, which I completely understand. If you want to stay and support me, I have to figure out what my pricing tier is going to be within the next eight hours before uh, March 1st comes around. Um, for me, I have to speak kind of selfishly here and look out for myself here. We currently have uh, 46 people on the Patreon. That would have, because we were splitting the money, that would have given each of us right around a thousand dollars. If, and I, I believe that we would have gotten more in the month of March. However, that money I have, I have allocated. I, I, I pay rent with that money. I pay bills with those money. I, as I've, as I've said multiple times already uh, in other videos, this is what I do for my income. Fantasy sports the YouTube, the Patreon, all this combines to what I use to pay bills and live and survive and everything. Um, the fact that this is happening, uh, you know, hours away from the start of the new month is very awkward and, and very hard to, to navigate for everybody involved. Um, but that just, that just kind of where we're at here. If you guys, uh, I don't know, man, you know, uh, as I was saying, I don't really know how to do this video because I, I've kind of lost uh, my guaranteed income. Not that it was like, oh, I'll exactly make thirteen hundred or whatever here, but uh, losing that, losing the money. <laughs> uh, you know, my last full month doing this was November on Patreon. I've had to make money stretch during the off season. Uh, kind of making it like, hey, if I can just get to March, we'll be fine. We can save up throughout the year again. I'll be just fine. I'm I'm kind of here. We're we're at March, okay. Uh, I, I I'm not exactly sure what to do because um, I pay I pay my rent money with with Patreon money, um. So I'm gonna go ahead and and put my new tier up. As I said, I don't know the price on it right now. If you want to stick around and support me, you are more than welcome to join that and stay with the Patreon. You'll still have access to a Discord and my projections for every race. I'll still do one-on-one -on -one talks. I'll still do, like, if you guys, like, uh, very quickly, like, no, as I said, no no ill words towards Pierce or anything. I'm just not going to take that route. Um, but everybody on the Patreon, everybody who shows up for the live shows, everybody who 
ha- I've ever had the pleasure of talking with. These are through Patreon, Discord, Twitter, whatever. I'm here for you guys. Um, I completely forgot the point I was going to make. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I am I don't know, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta figure this out really fast, and I wanted to give an update, uh, kind of, kind of context for everything. Uh, entering or last year, Pierce is a very busy individual, and he works nearly eighty-hour weeks uh, most of the time. I know he has a family business. I know he, I know he has his kid growing up. I think his, I think his son's five or four, possibly six now, um, and he's being, he's being stretched pretty thin. He normally he doesn't really sleep that much, you know. He's typically, you know, you know, crashing around like you know midnight or one, waking up at you know four or five, getting on with the next day lines of work. I completely understand uh, being in that situation and and not seeing this being like a viable income and stuff. We had during the off season we had discussed, um, or at least I had tried to to bring up the fact that I don't necessarily want to cover F one. This year, and I'm not saying this is the reason, um, but it, it's an example. I I brought up the I brought up the fact that I didn't want to cover Formula One this year. I didn't I I don't see the value in covering that from a DFS product, uh, in my opinion, because uh, last year we saw a lot of issues with the scoring. With that, uh, a lot of people were unhappy with the amount of ties, kind of how unfun it is. To build lineups, if you were building lineups each and every week, you know what I'm talking about in a sense of having a very small player pool, in a sense of having, like I said, a lot of duplicated lines outside of some facts where, like, you know, some wild races where a lot of big names got wrecked. It was very rare that you would see a winner that wasn't duplicated um, and duplications, you know, following, like, the highest scoring line, second highest scoring line, third highest scoring line, and things like that. And I viewed it as a, as a not fun type of of contest to play uh everything that i've heard from different people was that there is not going to be a change in the f1 scoring and so i wanted to explain that i i personally i i don't believe uh spending time covering f1 would have been worth it and um i i do think that is one of the things that um ended up having Pierce make the decision to not continue just because I think he believed that that was a uh, source of income and, and revenue that uh, the potential may have been higher this year than last year. Um, for me, I think it's really difficult because I've messed up and lost a lot of personal relationships uh, doing this stuff, which is, is fine. That's my own choice. I enjoy, you know, doing this stuff for, work and everything but I've I've you know uh you know I don't know man I've had a lot of personal uh relationships come to an end due to this stuff girlfriend you know other friends that I can't really talk to or spend because I'm I'm here literally you know covering NASCAR DFS like I said I don't love NASCAR but I cover it with a passion I'm here making content. I'm here covering each and every race, talking to each and every one of you guys. I enjoy that. That's a decision that I made over over other relationships and other people and stuff. And so uh, being in a situation telling you guys like, hey, uh, Pierce and I are no longer working together. <laughs> um, those sheets that everybody likes, nobody has access to them. He's not going to – He's and I'm assuming that he's not going to continue it on his own. Uh, so it just kind of comes to a fact that that's just kind of the situation uh, that we're at. And, um, man, that just that really, really sucks. Uh, I've made a lot of decisions banking on the fact that this wouldn't happen this year. Uh, I've had some people ask me because I've mentioned in videos I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing next year because I assumed that I would have to come to this uh, time or decision making at the end of the NASCAR season and not right before probably the most crucial month in NASCAR DFS coverage from a content creator standpoint because in February you don't necessarily get everybody who's going to play NASCAR because it's Daytona and Auto Cl- and, and the Clash 
March is the first real month. And that was really the month I was banking on to see how everything would go. Uh, and certainly not ending it or anything, but just, as I said, uh, I was going to use that to, to really save up money, <laughs> continue that. I'm just, I'm just being fucking honest here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the situation we're at. I'll send out emails informing people that, um, we're no longer, or Pierce is no, we're not doing the sheets anymore. <laughs> Uh, and, and Pierce isn't, isn't doing this anymore. And I, I'll probably be, just be doing projections and videos and live shows and stuff. That was also another kind of argument is that I, I enjoy doing live shows. I enjoy talking to people. I know Pierce wasn't a fan of those. And I think he felt like those were giving up, uh, potential, um, potential customers and stuff. I don't know. I could see his opinion, but. I see the support that we would get on those live shows, and I, I, I thought it was very much an even trade. Um, but that's that's the situation. We are we're here. Uh, I have, I got a, I got a hustle. I have no fucking clue how I'm gonna pay rent <laughs> in the fucking next couple of days. Uh, yeah. So we'll figure it out. If you want to support me. You can join the new p tier on my Patreon that I'll try and put up. Uh, if we, in, I'm gonna keep the Patreon live. If you don't change and you're still on the 60, I will refund you your money. And as I said, you can go off and, and join another side, or you can stick around, support me, whatever you want to do. If you want to support me uh, financially outside of Patreon, just so we can figure out what the hell is going on, uh, the PayPal, my PayPal is in the description. If you wanna, if you wanna help. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Basically just lost, I lost a good portion of, of my income, uh, out of nowhere, <laughs> to be honest. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I will see you guys in the next one and thanks for listening. I'll see you then.